Update. My girlfriend invited her ex over to my apartment and I'm absolutely livid right now. Original post. I live in a big city in my own apartment. My girlfriend Lily lives with her roommates, but if I'm being honest, she basically lives over here 80% of the time. Early today or yesterday while I was at the gym with my friend Mike, she texted me that she had an old friend she hasn't seen in a while that's in town, and that it would be nice to have a quiet place to catch up. I said they could use my apartment, and that I'd go out for dinner with Mike so they'd have time to catch up. During this time I'm at the gym, so I was in rush. I didn't ask who she was inviting over or whatnot. Well apparently I should, as the old friend she was apparently catching up with alone in my apartment was her only ex-boyfriend Kyle. Around 30-ish minutes after this conversation, I get a text from her saying they're at the apartment. I just said bet and continue with my friend. Mike and I finished our workout around 7pm and decided we'd go to Whole Foods as their hot or salad bars got some great food. We ate there and finished around 8.30ish. I'm on my way home now and honestly, I wasn't expecting anything other than just saying hi and heading myself to bed. It's been a long ass day, and honestly I was just ready to get to sleep. I arrive home around 9pm, and at this point, I had no idea if her friend was still over or not. I was secretly hoping they weren't as I didn't feel like socializing at all, but hey, I'll take one for the team. When I walked in the apartment, I see some big Timberland boots that obviously are a man's. I'm immediately like, shoot, her friend brought her boyfriend. I'm going to have to stay up and socialize now. I take off my shoes and jacket, and start heading down the mini hallway. As I enter the living area, I see my girlfriend sitting on the couch with a man at separate ends but staring right at each other talking. My girlfriend notices me and jumps a little. I didn't really find this odd at the time, but now thinking back on it, makes sense. At this point I'm still completely oblivious. I say hello and start walking towards the man. I'm looking around the house at this point for her friend honestly, I just thought she was in the bathroom or something. I shake the guy's hand and say some SHT like, hey, I'm Lily's boyfriend. He replied back in like a cocky way with some, I'm Kyle, Lily's ex. I was like, oh my fault, I thought you her friend's boyfriend. Then it got a little quiet and I rapidly come to the realization that my girlfriend has been alone with her ex in my apartment for the last couple hours. I look at my girl and say, so I'm taking this was her old friend. She said yeah in a soft voice. At this point I wasn't letting myself jump to any conclusions, but I'm tired and I don't feel like socializing. I'm also now upset my girl was just chilling with her ex in my apartment. It got quiet again, and these two made zero effort to continue whatever convo they were having just moments ago. Lily asks how my day was, and I was like it was fine, I guess again getting the vibe I'm interrupting something. At this point I'm fed up, only like a minute or so had passed since my question to her, and I look at him and ask Kyle, hey, do you mind ending it here for today? I actually got some things I got to talk to Lily about. He said some, she invited me over though, and we're still reminiscing on the good old days. I look at Lily and she can't even look me in my eyes. I look back at Kyle and say, alright let me rephrase it, this is my apartment and I'm telling you to leave. He then looks at her and says do you want me to leave? At this point, and I'm not proud of it, I completely lose my cool. Saying, what the heck do you mean by that? I don't give a crap if she wants you to leave or not. I'm telling you to get the heck out my house. Lily is telling me to calm down and turns and tells him he needs to leave. Kyle gets up and heads towards the hallway to get his things. I follow and he ends up leaving. I come back and Lily is now angry with me saying I embarrassed her. I embarrassed you. She then goes on about how my reaction is totally uncalled for as she told me he was coming over and asked. I was like, no Lily, you said a freaking friend was coming over, a freaking friend. Not once you mentioned this friend was a male, much less your freaking ex. She then says my reaction was BS and that I acted like a jerk. I tell her, you were with your freaking ex in my apartment. Do you not understand how much of a F you that comes across as? I then asked, why the heck y'all were meeting in the first place? And she tells me he's going through rough times and needs someone to lean on. And that she just wanted to be there for him as he's a nice person, and that by hanging with him in my apartment, it shows nothing shady is going on. I explain how that is BS, and that if my ex started having issues and I was the one comforting her, she would be pissed. She was like no, she'd understand because she has empathy. I was like, that's BS Lily, you got angry with me at the gym because I smiled when a girl complimented my form when lifting. She then was like she's done talking and stormed out. I didn't say anything, I didn't chase, I haven't reached out. I just sat on the couch and thought about what the heck just happened. I then called my father who gave me some great advice. She then texted me these two hours ago. Can we talk? I'm sorry for not telling you it was my ex that I invited was inviting over. I don't want you to get the wrong idea, nothing happened. Nothing is going to happen. I love you. He messaged me out of the blue saying he needed someone to talk to. 
I didn't think that much of it. I'm sorry for deceiving you. That sounds like BS right. I didn't think much of it then. Followed by sorry for deceiving you like obviously you did think about it or you would have been truthful. I wanted to talk to him at your place because I didn't want you to assume something else was going on. Please talk to me, I love you. Obliviously if she sees this she'll know I'm talking about us, but she doesn't use Reddit. I haven't responded yet. I'm leaning towards wanting to break things up with her after talking about all this with my pops. Not for her talking to him, but for how I felt in the moment it all was happening. It's a huge red flag for me that she said old friend instead of ex. I still don't get it. In the moment of me getting visibly upset with her ex, she didn't take my side once. When I was nice before I even recognized him, it felt like I was the odd man out. I just felt like she doesn't respect me. Not on some 1950s crap where the woman has to respect the man. But if the roles were reversed and I was with my ex at her house, I would have backed my girl when she was getting mad. I would have called my ex out for talking cocky to my girl etc. I'm still very pissed, so I don't think I should be talking to her right now. It's currently around 3 in the morning. Honestly I'm just freaking tired I don't even know if I'm pissed. Now for the top advice before reading the updates. She lied by omission. Flip the situation, the girlfriend would be livid too. Her ex in your apartment equals no respect for your living space and no respect for you. Her actions show what she thinks of you. Some people enjoy this kind of drama in their relationships. She put comforting her ex before your comfort or knowledge or consent etc. Sorry, but what she did is so horrible. And what did the girlfriend and the ex talked about that got him so cocky and confident I wonder. I would dump her, she not only disrespected her boyfriend, she also let her ex disrespect him. Yeah I support dumping her too. Look on the bright side, if you hit a rough patch in the future, you can count on your soon to be ex to lean on. This post is messed up. Don't worry OP, you'll be laughing about all this with her in a few years on her next boyfriend's couch. Hell, Kyle may even be there too. If it were me, I would break up with her. She intentionally misled you. Nothing might have happened, but by withholding information on who she's meeting was a red flag. The ex was also rude, and she basically just let him disrespect you. Edit. It's currently 12.44pm. It's already been long freaking day and will continue to be a long freaking day. I've seen your comments, and it'll update tonight or tomorrow depending what ends up fully playing out. It's been a hot level of a day so far, and I'm on like 3 hours of sleep. P.S. I added paragraphs. This whole writing was me just typing the words from thoughts last night, I had no idea so many would view this. Now for the full update. This is long, so I doubt you actually want to read it all. Sorry, I just poured my thoughts into it. It's currently around 7pm when writing this, and honestly the last 13-ish hours I've been up have been freaking draining to say the least. I awoke in the morning to my phone going absolutely nuts with notifications from Reddit. I'm honestly like, oh shoot, why the actual heck did I decide to pour my personal thoughts out into a Reddit post? I began to scroll y'all's comments, and to say I was shocked is an absolute understatement. Literally almost all of y'all are actively taking my side, and I mean I was just scrolling this morning just looking for that one comment that was taking hers. It did not come. What surprised me the most were the number of women in this thread that said they would never do this to their man, and that it is beyond disrespectful. I mean those comments hit the hardest this morning as those were my thoughts exactly. Last night was a freaking stress storm for me to be honest. I couldn't believe what the heck had just happened. As y'all can guess from my post, I live alone so there wasn't anyone at my crib that I could talk to, so I decided to call the one man that's had my back since day one, my pops. As many have messaged me and many have commented, I will go into detail on what exactly our phone call entailed. First, I'm gonna go back to when it originally happened so that it makes more sense. Also when reading back my thoughts from last night, it was clear I was rushing at the end, and honestly just fed up with everything at that point so I skipped a lot of details. Okay to start, Lily had just stormed out of my apartment at this point, when I called her out that she wouldn't be freaking okay with me meeting with my ex because they needed someone to lean on. Like I said before, I didn't call out, text, nor follow her. At this point I'm freaking furious and I can't believe what the heck just happened. I take a seat on the couch and try breathing exercises. I am trying to calm down but it's no use because I keep remembering Kyle asking do you want me to leave to my girlfriend. I didn't really elaborate on this beforehand, but that freaking sent me to another world, and I was absolutely about lose my cool to the max. I just kept telling myself it's not worth it, it's not worth it, it's not worth it. At this point all I want to do is beat Kyle up, and all my methods for calming down were failing at this point. I just said, screw it and picked up my phone and said, Siri, call old man. I honestly didn't know what I was going to say at this point, but I knew that if there was one person who could get through to me, it would be my pops. 
Now I don't remember the exact dialogue that exactly went down, but I'm going to try my best to be as accurate as possible. Phone dialed, dad picks up and says, I seen it already Vooch, dropped 43 on the ass. I started laughing a bit and say it's not about that dad. I just got into a huge fight with Lily dad. I'm really freaking pissed I don't want to do anything stupid. Whoa whoa, okay, where are you right now? Are you with her? Are you guys okay? I'm at the crib right now and she just stormed out. Yes I am chilling, I just don't know what to do. There's a long pause after this and I hear my pops take a deep breath and say, Alright alright, hit me. So I began to give him the same rundown I gave you guys in my last post. The whole time my pops is dead silent, doesn't say a freaking a word. Then I finished up the story, all he asked was, what does Kyle look like? I won't lie, this caught my off guard because I was like, damn dad, why the heck does it matter what he looks like? I responded, I don't know, he was white with long curly hair etc, why? My dad was like no no, how tall was he? At this point I'm like WTF dad, I don't know, he was like 5 feet 9 max. My dad laughs a bit and says, explains the Timberlands then, freaking male equivalent of heels. I didn't realize it yesterday, but what my pops was doing was what he always does. I literally can't stay angry if I laugh, and my dad can make me laugh on demand, and I started laughing. I was like you right you right. He then was like, how much you think he weighed? I had to think for a minute, but I was like maybe a buck fifty-five ish My pops then brought up the argument between me and Kyle. You said Lily told Kyle to leave after you started to get mad right. Yeah, I responded. My dad pauses for a long time again and takes another deep breath, son, I wouldn't be surprised if this situation is a lot deeper than it seems. It speaks volumes to me she only rallied for him to leave after you began to get real upset. You are 6 feet 190 pounds and were just disrespected in your own house by a man you do not know. When a woman cares for someone, the last thing she wants is for him to be in harm's way. She understood exactly what was going to happen if the situation continued to escalate, and she chose to get Kyle out of harm's way, followed by switching all the blame to you and leaving. Honestly son, where do you think she's at right now? I didn't say anything, I knew what he was implying. I know it hurts, but promise me you won't do anything irrational. She made her decision, there's not much you can do to change it. You've proven your whole life you're one of one, don't lose yourself now over something that will just end up a tiny bump on your road map. I mean seriously, I couldn't be more freaking proud of you son. You're 22 living on your own in the city, you got your act together, that's rare son, your rare son. The right women like your mom for me, I laughed a little, will walk into your life when you least expect it. Don't waste your energy. Everything happens for a reason son. I paused for a minute and said, thank you, I needed this dad. My dad laughed, of course, your mom and I are here for you always. Ends call. Fast forward back to this morning. I couldn't sleep at all last night, so this morning was just completely awful. Lily was blowing up my phone the whole night apologizing and begging for my forgiveness. It's around 11 in the morning, at this point I'm completely just over this situation. I still haven't responded to her since she stormed off last night. In my opinion she made her choice. However, I got a long week ahead of me and can't be having this crap continue to impact me this much going forward. So I eat something and head down to my apartment's local gym to just run. On lifting days I go to a private gym, and on cardio days I use the apartment's gym. Running is therapeutic for me. Around 1 o'clock, I got a phone call and you guessed it, it was from Lily. No part of me wanted to pick up the phone, but we've been dating for two and a half years, I felt obligated. I pick up the phone and say, what's up? To be immediately met with crying I'm sorry OP, I love you to death. Please just talk to me. I shouldn't have left last night. I panicked. You know I love you OP I didn't say anything. OP please talk to me. This isn't right, please just talk to your girlfriend. I'm sorry. I told you nothing happened, I won't ever talk to him again, please I beg you, can we just talk? At this point, the realization of my feelings for her started to really kick in. Instead of anger, sorrow, or any emotion, to be honest I just felt a sense of indifference when she spoke. I just responded, can you come over around 3? Still crying at this point, yes, 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 she says. I say okay and ends the call. I'm just sitting on the sofa now at this time just waiting for 3 o'clock to roll around, scrolling through the comments on my previous post. Then I hear knocking from the hallway. Shortly after, I see my girlfriend emerge from the mini hallway. She begins to start smiling and crying while wiping her tears. Again, I take notice of how I feel at this moment. A sense of indifference. A feeling I don't care about it anymore. It really started to hit me, two and a half years wasted just like that. The woman who I cared so deeply for just 24 hours before now is in front of me crying and I don't feel a thing. Lily, it's over between us I said. Completely shocked, she barely manages to mutter out what. While still crying, it's over, I repeated. 
No, 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 no. Please, I'm sorry. Don't end this between us, I love you to death, she said hysterically. Now I won't lie, that last bit hit hard. I mean freaking hard man. I couldn't mask it anymore, the lid had been broken. Don't end this between us. Lily, I'm sorry I can't take this crap anymore. I don't know what impression I gave you over our relationship, but I won't stay in a relationship with a woman who thinks that freaking little of me. You made the decision to end things between us when you invited your ex into my apartment behind my freaking back Lily. That is something I refuse to let slide. At this point my thoughts just begin to flow out of my mouth like a freaking tidal wave. No man is that cocky for no reason Lily. I'm not a fool Lily. You gave him some type of reassurance to give him the confidence to act like that. You even backed him in front of me. Why the heck would I stay with someone who's not going to have my back? Absolutely bawling at this point, Lily says, I'm sorry OP I love you, I'm sorry. Y'all can call me whatever you want, but at this point I just went soft. I didn't have the heart to keep drilling her anymore. She was just breaking down crying uncontrollably, while I just sat down in silence. OP I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I love you, only you. I won't ever talk to him again. I won't I promise. OP please just give me one more chance, she said. I'm completely silent. I mean, there was just a huge freaking pressure on my chest it felt like my ribcage was gonna crack under the pressure. Sat there silently listening to her crying, I remembered one of my favorite songs from 21 Savage, I'd rather have loyalty than love, cause love really don't mean jack, see love is just a feeling. You can love somebody and still stab them in they back, it don't take much to love, you can love somebody just by being attached, see loyalty is an action, you can love or hate me and still have my back. I just kept repeating those lyrics in my head over and over and over again. To many, it might seem she said all the right things, but to me actions speak louder than words. Last night she chose to make her decision on us through her actions, and since actions speak louder than words, it really didn't matter what she said. I'm struggling to keep it together at this point. I really did love her, heck I still freaking do, but I understood this was what's best for me. I wouldn't have been able to trust her again. You can't be in a relationship without trust or loyalty. I lost both from her. As she cries, I look up and say, Lily please, it's over. There's no saving this. She looks at me and says my name. But I interrupt with, no, please just stop, it's over Lily. Please just do us both a favor and take your things and leave. It's over, please let's just end it here. She doesn't say anything and gets up and starts grabbing some of her things around the apartment. I grabbed a garbage bag and helped her pack, then she left the keys to my apartment on the table and left. This all finished up around 4.30 today and I've just been sitting here trying to process what the heck just happened. Honestly it all still doesn't feel real. I never intended on posting yesterday, but I just needed a place to freaking vent. And since it blew up, I felt like it I should update y'all today. I'm freaking hurt. The weight of what just went down over the last 24 hours doesn't seem real. To anyone who actually read this long update, thank you. To those who commented on my previous post, thank you, I freaking needed I place to vent last night. Edit. I tried to be as transparent as possible and show both sides to the best of my ability. What y'all read was my raw emotion. Over the last month, I've picked up journaling on my self-improvement journey. It really helps to understand your own thoughts. Last night I decided to post to this sub instead of my notes app. I appreciate the kind words you all have given me. I'm going to continue to work on myself and push forward. Edit 2 My ex and I are both 22. Your pops is a wise man. Sucks now, but like he said, the best thing will walk into your life when you're not looking for it. Not going to lie, this post made me miss my dad so bad. I turned 30 this year and he's been gone for 6. I didn't really appreciate all that he was and that he did for me, even with his flaws. What dad said was right. She defused the situation, but for who? Where did she go after she stormed out? Why would any sane person with a tiny bit of self-respect stay in that? Good on you OP. Stay strong. There's no love without trust. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. Change your locks. Make sure she's off any financial accounts as well, and anything like Xbox she could cause financial damage on. 